What's going on YouTube? Hey guys, it's Ben Nader and this is the channel where we talk about everything from recruitment, staffing, business, entrepreneurship, startup, investing, everything in between. And if you like those kind of topics, you should definitely hit the subscribe button down below. It will add a ton of value to your life. So let's jump right into today's topic, which is all about something I feel is super important, which is networking and making connections and how to network specifically like a genius, okay? So entrepreneurs and the best business people in the world know all of the secret little hacks on how to network like geniuses. Like behind the back door, people do not know about this stuff. It's coming out, but I wanted to do a video on it because it's what I've been observing and I've actually done a little bit of it myself and it's incredibly powerful, it's insane. So what do I consider networking? Networking is, you know, any connection that you can make between you and another person that is meaningful and powerful that inevitably results in a benefit for you and hopefully a benefit for the other person. And usually when both people benefit, there's a really, really good network connection. So an example might be like if you can, you know, connect with someone in a specific industry where they're very, very successful um, in business and that's an industry that you wanna be very successful in, right? That'd be a really meaningful connection, right? Uh, another one would be like if you connected with someone that could connect you to another person that's really successful in business and you could pick that person's brain, right? Third party. Um, and then like another one would be is if you could just connect with someone and link directly with them and actually partner with them and something materializes out of it. Like you create a business and you start working with someone. That'd be a really meaningful and powerful connection. So that's the type of networking I'm talking about, things that actually materialize. A lot of people think like, oh, well, you know, I know how to network. I have a LinkedIn account. I have 3,000 connections. That's all BS. Like you don't talk to those people. Nothing materializes out of that. Like that's nothing. Networking properly is when meaningful things happen out of it. Meaning you actually connect with people that results in things happening, money coming out of it, like et cetera, et cetera, right? Like things get built, right? So I wanna talk about four specific ways to create a really, really powerful network uh, in a meaningful way that's actionable and all that stuff. So um, the first idea that is coming out lately and I've seen is creating a podcast. So this is so easy, it's not even funny. There's a billion different apps on <clears throat> the Google Play Store, on the um, Apple App Store, where you can find apps that are free and you can basically create your own podcast in like five minutes, set it up, advertise it on Facebook and Facebook groups, um, put it up on your LinkedIn or something like that, say, hey, subscribe to my podcast, or just start making episodes and putting them out on your Facebook or putting them out on, on LinkedIn or something like that. And here's what's crazy about this. You take your podcast and make it specific, like niche specific about digital marketing or about design or about like, you know, I don't know, software development or whatever it is, recruiting and invite star power on your podcast. Invite big, big people onto your podcast. Like just reach out to big people and say, hey, would you be able to be on my podcast for 30 minutes? I'd love to do a and a for you, you know, and you know, kind of ask you questions for my audience and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's a meaningful and direct back and forth connection because you get to ask them anything you want with a Q&A session and learn a ton of stuff from them, about them, and they get to put their name out there and broaden their star power by being on your platform and giving more information out about themselves, which benefits them. So people starting podcasts are doing genius things by you know inviting like crazy cool people to just to talk um, really interesting people or like you know people that are just starting up businesses I was actually on a few different podcasts when I start, started my recruiting agency and I mean like I'm not a star or whatever but like I talked about what I did to start my agency how I made my first hundred grand like you know how the whole thing went and everything and it benefited me just to like get out on the podcast and be like oh cool like I can kind of broaden my name and then you know the podcaster could obviously like learn some information or give some good information to their audience. So it's a win-win and boom, you've just connected with a ton of people because afterwards, if that podcast airs, right, on iTunes, it's gonna be heard over and over and over. It's not just a one-time thing. Like people listen to that over and over thousands of times because it's on record archived. And so your name's just gonna be out there like forever. Like forever the podcasts I've done are gonna be all over the place and people can hear my name and hear about me and what all that stuff. And yeah, so that just goes on forever. 
Uh, the next one is what we're doing right now. So the YouTube channel, right? Like create a YouTube channel. It's another platform where you can do the exact same type of thing. You can put out content, put out information. And if I told you the amount of people that have connected directly with me over LinkedIn or email or Facebook or whatever it is that are literally six figure, seven figure recruiters, big, powerful people <clears throat> that run agencies, presidents of agencies, like founders of other huge agencies, way bigger than mine, um, and that have connected directly with me to talk with me. Uh, not just talk, but like talk about partnerships and talk about like material things, like doing stuff together and doing splits or whatever it might be, you know? Things like that. You would not believe the amount of people that are connected just because I put out content on my YouTube channel. So I love that, right? Like, and that's just, that's my way of kind of networking, one of my ways, right? Um, and so that's, that's really, really cool. Um, the next one would be, you know, thought leaders, right? How do you become a thought leader? Well, you make yourself a thought leader. That's how thought leaders are made. You make yourself a thought leader by putting out content. And you do that through things like creating articles, right? Like maybe you wanna just write articles about, you know, UX design, or maybe you wanna talk about specifically digital marketing or recruiting, again, like I said, or law or something, you know, like legal in the legal field or, or whatever, or robotics, I don't know, whatever it is your thing, your industry, um, what you wanna get known for more or network with people about more, create articles, like write articles, publish them on LinkedIn. Um, there's websites called Thrive Global, uh, Life Hack is another one. Um, these websites are places that will publish like anyone's article. Like it's not like entrepreneur.com or Forbes where there's like this crazy huge process. Like Life Hack will literally publish an article for you, like no questions asked. Um, you're not gonna get paid and stuff for it, but your name's gonna get out there. And then tons of people will see your name, hear your con like read your content, check it out, and then connect back with you, right? You'll be able to put like your LinkedIn article, your LinkedIn link below there and people can connect back with you as the author and they'll know you from there you know and if you do that over time right like write an article every two three days publish it put it on linkedin put it on facebook then put it on thrive global then put it on you know life hack right and you get to be known you become a thought leader you've made yourself a thought leader and it's an awesome way to network and connect with people because what happens is they come out of the woodwork and start contacting you and want to chat about like what you wrote or say Wow, that was some great content. Like, can, do you have 15 minutes to chat or something, right? And it might not be the person you want to talk to, but eventually someone that you want to talk to is going to network with you, with you because of it, uh, because you've made yourself a thought leader in a particular industry, right? So those are like the four main specifics, right? So we said creating a podcast, setting up a YouTube channel, um, uh, making yourself a thought leader, and... Uh, Oh, the fourth one, building a community. So Facebook groups, right? Like easiest way ever to build a community. Um, you can literally create a Facebook group in 10 minutes and you can start adding people and grow the group by just simply posting content, do Facebook lives, write articles, write influential posts, write really like big things that people are interested in and talk about them. And then engage with your group, like engage back and forth, answer questions, ask questions, questions, do all of the above and build a community. I have uh, the, the Six Figure Recruiters, the Facebook pay, uh, group. And if you're not in it already, quick plug, join Six Figure Recruiters Facebook group. Um, there are six figure recruiters in there, seven figure recruiters in there. I don't even know there might be an eight figure recruiter in there. I think DSP's in there. So yeah, like shout out to David Stephen Patterson. But like overall, that group has brought so much value to a ton of people in, in it, as well as myself. And I've been able to network with a ton of people themselves. Like there is a recruiter in there that's definitely uh, an eight figure recruiter and he niches down in one particular niche and it's really interesting. I've connected with him. I've been able to talk to him about his business um, and all kinds of things and learn about like what he does and it's just crazy. Like how would I have ever networked with that person unless I created this community, this group where it's appropriate and it's just okay for us to network and talk like human beings, right? It's not like I'm walking up to him on the street and saying like, hey, are you an eight figure recruiter? I wanna to talk to you. Like, no, there's a community, so it was easy and simple, right? And if everything else doesn't sound appealing to you or all of this is just like woohoo, whatever, 
just reach out to people specifically, okay? So go on LinkedIn, find someone that you actually wanna like network and connect with, and ask them for 15 minutes of their time. So I'm super busy, like, right, I do the YouTube channel, I run my recruiting agency, I have a couple ventures going on, but I have 15 minutes for like anybody. If I can post it on my calendar at least like a week in advance, I can give anybody 15 minutes practically. So like just talk to someone, reach out to someone. Don't be shy, don't be cold about it. Like people are wired to connect with each other and interact. So network, connect, make meaningful and powerful connections and do those four methods that I mentioned, right? YouTube channel, podcast, create a community, make yourself a thought leader, write articles, and you will be a genius network by doing all of those things. So anyways, guys, I hope that's valuable. If it is, definitely become a subscriber and smash the like button if you have not done so already. And I will catch you guys for sure tomorrow on Monday. Get ready to crush it. Let's go. All right, take care.